Today I'm going over the movie Fundaments of Caring, a Netflix original. I'm going to give a little introduction before I get started. The movie was about a boy named Trevor and his tear teacher Ben. During Ben's time with Trevor, he learns Trevor has always wanted to travel. After a bit of convincing Elsa, Trevor's mom agrees to help them go on the trip. They go on the trip, they have a good time, and they get to their final destination. Ben ends up quitting his job and becoming Trevor's friend. Now, let's go see what happens in the middle. Who is Trevor? What is the character's name? Well, obviously, the character's name is Trevor, and he is an 18-year-old boy. What disabilities is being represented by the character? Trevor's disabilities are a physical disability called muscular dystrophy. Explain an instance where the character with a disability attempted or didn't attempt to advocate for their own wants and needs. What happened? How did others react? And how do you feel about this response? This is a great question, and this brings me to the start of the movie. When Trevor advocated for his own wants by telling his caretaker, Ben, he wanted to travel, Ben was able to overcome obstacles, mainly his mom, that was preventing Ben from traveling. Some of Trevor's mom's concerns were his medical needs. Ben overcame that by saying that he planned out all the hospitals along the way on the road trip. Another one of Trevor's mom's concerns was that he hadn't been out of the house longer than an hour, and this would be really far away from home. Ben was able to overcome that obstacle by telling her they have a car for his special needs, so it won't be a problem getting him away from home. And also, Ben is there. So for everything that Trevor can't do, Ben is there to help him do. How do I feel about his mom's response? I feel his mom was just being a mom. You know, moms get worried. She's thinking about all these obstacles, but she doesn't realize that Ben is there and it is Ben's job to help Trevor. And yes, the mom thinking right, Trevor wouldn't be able to travel alone, but she has to think that Trevor has been there. Trevor's challenges. Describe an instance where the character's disability presents challenges, relevated into or committing to society. Do you feel the specific challenges was something intrinsic or disabled condition, or was it more relevated to the audience of what society believes a challenge for this individual was? A challenge for Trevor was an architectural barrier. Trevor tries to see a giant cow, but it is on the top floor. The problem with the cow being on the top floor is that the top floor is not wheelchair accessible. Ben sticks up for Trevor and says it's against the law for it to not be wheelchair accessible. He threatens to call the news to get the place bad publicity, and the business owner ends up carrying Trevor up. Uh, the obstacles that Trevor has faced is um, architectural. But I do like that they did add that in there because, you know, it is a struggle, and it's a struggle lots of people have, accessibility. Explain a moment where you noticed the lack of first-person use or language. What was said, and what were your initial feelings in response to that? This brings me to Trevor's relationship with Dot. Dot is basically a hitchhiker, and Trevor agrees to pick her up. And Dot and Trevor first met, some of the first questions he asked him were if his penis works and what condition he has. Dot saying that was not using first-person language because she was more concerned about the condition than who he was. Luckily, Trevor did not really care about her asking questions, and he handled it pretty well. He basically told her, yeah, a penis works. <laughs> I think that Trevor handled things great, and I don't think that Dot really meant to be offensive. I just think, you know, she's one of those edgy teenagers, and she just says whatever comes to her mind. But uh, personally, I think she should have waited until they got closer and not just said, hey, does your penis work? Because that's a bit weird, you know? <laughs> the next thing we're going to talk about is Trevor's relationship with Ben. Identify a moment where attributes or actions of a person without disabilities impacted the life of somebody with disabilities. Was this a positive or negative experience? Ends up helping Trevor go pee standing up. And this was such an accomplishment because you know, Ben's role was to help Trevor go to the washroom because he couldn't stand up on their own. But he was able to have one of the medical uh, things that you see on the back of him to help him to stand up. And he was peeing over the, the falls over there, which was really cool because it gave him a sense of doing it on his own, which is all what recreational therapists are about. And I feel like that really impacted, you know, the trip because he was able to finally do something on his own that he wasn't able to do before that. How is Trevor portrayed throughout the movie. Consider the character strengths and abilities represented or not represented during the movie. Indicate if this changed over the course of the movie. One thing that Trevor always had was a ability to think for himself. Even though he was in a wheelchair, he could still think for himself. He could still, you know, do things for himself, like remember to take his pills. An example of that is when Ben pulled a prank on Trevor. Trevor was freaking out because he did know that he needed those pills to stay alive. Trevor was also the one who thought for himself about wanting to travel. Another two things that I think Trevor had, but this developed more throughout the movie, was his leadership skills. Trevor was always kind of a leader, but he was never really able to show it because, you know, he was kind of at home a lot of the time. So now that he's on this road trip, he was able to meet two new people, Dot and Peaches. The times when he showed real leadership is when he offered Peach a ride to where she needed to go, even though where Peach wanted to go wasn't where he was going to go. And you could tell that this was real leadership because his caretaker Ben is like, are you sure this is going to be out of your way? But he was like, no, I'm going to do it. And I think that represented really good leadership skills. Another thing that 
uh, Trevor always really was, was friendly. I feel like though he didn't know how to be friendly at the beginning because it didn't really seem like he talked to a lot of people, you know, he kind of came across as just like edgy, maybe a little bit dickish at first, but then he slowly started to get nicer. An example of this is with Dot, when Dot said my shoes, he literally walked past her and just said mall. But when they kind of got to know each other like a little bit more, he, you know, opened up to her and they were like talking, they went on a date and stuff like that. You can tell he's really friendly because he also um, picked up Peach. And, you know, if he wasn't friendly, he would not pick up Peach and Dot because they're two his checkers. He'd be like, ah, I don't really care about them. How Trevor grew. Identify and explain the point of learning a girl for this character, either with or without disability. All right, so obviously I picked Trevor. A few ways that Trevor did grow. The first one was him trying new food because he usually stuck to his normal safe food. And when he was on the field trip, um, well, the road trip, he did try some new foods, which I'm so proud of Trevor for. But I think the main thing that really helped Trevor grow was when Trevor met his dad. Trevor desired to meet his dad and he decided to do it on the road trip for the first time. His dad left him at three but his dad sent letters to him. So he's like, okay, I'm gonna meet this guy named Bob. And, you know, I'm gonna let him do some explaining because he's been giving me these letters. So he must kind of care about me, you know? But when he goes there, he's heartbroken. He realizes his dad doesn't really want anything to do with him. It was his mom sending the letters and his dad literally just offered him money, which is so heartbreaking for me. He was so sad and I was just so upset. You think the way this movie was written and presented provided society with an accurate picture of disabled representatives and support the perspective in which we have discussed through in our course. So let's cover the first part of this, which is the writing. I think the movie was written really well because usually, usually what happens is there's this motivational person, you know, like they're always happy, go lucky, nice, you know, whatever. But Trevor kind of defines that. In the beginning, I kind of thought Trevor was a dick. I'm not going to lie. He did some pretty mean stuff. He uh, pretended to choke. So his care holder had to pull over and, you know, was so scared that he was choking. But no, it was just a prank. It showed that, you know, it wasn't just sticking to a normal kind of script of a disabled person. It was giving him some personality. I think the movie did a really good job at presenting society with an accurate picture of Trevor's disability. I like that they didn't focus on the disability he had. Instead, they um, focused on his trip. And some of that went with what the disabilities he had was. But it wasn't just his disabilities. It was mainly the trip. And one thing that the movie has is challenge skill gap and rehearsing that Trevor's mom did not want him to travel because he did not think he had the skills for the challenge. But Ben did have the skills for the challenge, so with Ben's support, Trevor was able to have the skills for the challenge. He just needed some support. The end.